I'm with Jill Daly. She's with the Israel Ministry of Tourism. She directs the Midwest region, and that's where In Grace lives. We're actually in the same city as you. Uh, so obviously Israel has been dealt a major blow. Tourism has followed that. It's like, it's like COVID all over again for tourism. We, we lead tours, you're promoting people going to Israel. I, I think everybody needs to go to Israel, whether even they're not a, a, a Christian or not, everybody needs to go see this incredible land. So give us the latest update on, you know, when can people start going back to Israel? Actually, they can start going now. If they are comfortable going, I have groups that are going. We have kind of shifted a little bit that a lot of our groups that are going are doing solidarity trips. They're doing volunteerism trips where they're volunteering in Israel. But I also have some groups that strictly going for tours that they had scheduled and they were refusing to cancel. So we're very excited that yesterday, as of yesterday, United announced that they are back. They are going to be flying nonstop out of EWR again uh, as on March 6th. So. so those that aren't in the travel business, that's Newark, uh, New Sorry. Jersey. No, it's okay. But it's that's a really, really good sign that America, one of our major airlines has said, okay, we're going to go back. And that's like right soon. So that's wonderful to hear. Um, I was in Israel, of course, you had to at that time in, in late uh, November, early December, fly El Al, which, uh, you know, it's a great airline. But it's it limits you, especially if you're from, from the U.S. Uh, in Chicago. So I think it's it's huge. When I was there... There were, I didn't see any tour buses until one day we were filming on the Mount of Olives, a bus pulls up and I was like, this is crazy. And it was a, a bus from, I think, Africa. Okay. And, th and there they were. So, but to see Israel um, so void of tourism, uh, that hurt. And I know that's been really hard on Israel's economy. It has been, and it does hurt to not have the tourists. I mean, Israel as a people, they're very welcoming. They want you to come and see their country. They're proud of their country and we want you to come back and we want you to see that. So having these situations where they're not feeling like people are able to come, it makes it really difficult. Uh, but the positive is people are starting to come back. They are starting to tour again, and we're thrilled. We're w waiting to welcome them back openly and to enjoy what Israel offers. I, I feel like a lot of people are a little worried the first time they're going to Israel, uh, but they know they want to go, they want to see it. If it's a spiritual thing, it's like they, they really want to go. Once they go, they're like, wow, that wasn't scary at all. As a matter of fact, it was amazing. And so it just changes the perspective on like just the mentality of going there, thinking it's it's scary or it's a war zone. And it's really not. Even today, it's not. Exactly. I think one of the things that people find most interesting is when they do go to Israel for the first time, they realize it really is safe. They realize that they're, they didn't have anything to fear in terms of going uh, you know, so going and experiencing it and seeing it is such an amazing experience that really will turn the perspective. And, you know, right now and after the attacks of October 7th and everything that happened, even our evacuees, they've been evacuated to the areas that are more the tourist areas. It's the safe areas. Right. It's the places that you're going to go anyway. I mean, you and I are from Chicago. There's parts of Chicago we are not going to bring our friends and family. It's the same with Israel. There's parts you know, that we are, we're not going to bring our friends and family because it's not as safe. But as a whole, any place that you're going in Israel, it's going to be an amazing and safe experience. So you said it was an amazing experience. And let me just speak on my behalf. Since I started going when I was uh, preteen, um, what I got to see was uh, three major components. Uh, I got to see past and it's incredible, rich, deep, historical, biblical past. Uh, uh, the, the sites of Israel from uh, the oldest Abraham's time all the way up until the time of Jesus. Then I got to see like the, the present life and the miracle of Israel, the Jews returning to the land. And that part of it is incredible. Just, just being there and just seeing this culture and this Hebrew has come back and all of these things. And then I also read in my Bible that there's a future in the land as well. So you have all three of those components. What's that like to understand Israel is so multifaceted? You know, I think it just gives us a completely different perspective. And the people of Israel, they are warm, they're welcoming, the Jewish people, they want to be able to share their heritage, their culture, and be able to share the past and the events of the past. Because that's part of our history as well. It's part of our Christian faith, is to be able to go and see those biblical places. One of the things that I love most is meeting fellow Christians from around the world. 
when you're in Israel. Mm -hmm. You are there for one purpose, and you are there to walk in the footsteps of, of Jesus. And I met a group from Kenya one time that were there, and we took a moment at Topka and sang a worship song together. So it was people coming from all these different nations and being able to celebrate in one place. Yeah, this one thing I noticed in some of our last trips was more more international travel, Christian travel to Israel, which was re really good to see. We were at uh, the baptismal site and we were baptizing people from our group. And we had uh, folks that came in from Africa yeah. and they said, we don't have a pastor, would you baptize us? So I, you know, never met these people, brothers and sisters, and there we are baptizing them and to see the joy and see the experience that they had connecting with Christians that you don't know. I've also connected with so many Christians that I do know. I haven't seen in 10 years and they're in our same hotel. You know, it's just so amazing the connections that you can have in Israel. It absolutely is. And I mean, what an honor as a pastor to be able to have the opportunity to baptize these men and women in Christ and to be able to be in this place and share that same joy, that same history and that same belief yep. uh, with each other. Well, thank you very much, Jill, and we're excited to get back to Israel. Um, we're going. Uh, we go to film no matter what, but I want folks to come, and I, I feel like now is the time to start going back to Israel. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please come back to Israel. Show us. If you're supporting Israel, support with your feet. Support by standing in Israel. Hey, I hope you enjoyed our program on YouTube. We wanna to continue to provide you some great videos on God, the Bible, and how it all connects with our world. It would really help us if you would consider subscribing to the InGrace YouTube channel. We would also like to have you comment. We will try to read and respond to them. And we also need you to hit the notification button and like the InGrace episode that you just saw. These ways will help more people hear about in grace and more people hear the gospel of grace.